the tech bro, like, conservative folks being against, uh, like, artificial meat. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, we have a, we have a way of basically 3D printing meat now. And the challenges in front of that are basically just scaling up the meat. The, like, the meat production. And we have, like, people in Florida, uh, conservatives in Florida passing bills against, like, uh, lab-grown meat. And it's just like, why? It literally solves so many problems. It, it would be, if we transitioned from the way we produce meat right now to lab grown meat in mass um that would be incredible it's not artificial uh, shut shut the fuck up it's artificial okay they're they're printing it out of a 3d printer it's artificial enough i know that it's grown from cells that are genetically identical to like meat but it's printed out of a machine. I, I think there there is an artificiality to that that I think is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I've had artificial meat. It's not good. I mean, I've had uh, the, the, the impossible uh, meat is very, very good now. Um, well, then the poors could eat the rare meats and that would make the rich feel less rich. Maybe that's it genuinely it could be like some sort of classist reasoning like that but i don't know like it solves so many problems like the the moral and ethicality of like factory farming like disappears as like a real issue against that you know i mean you i guess you could get into the weeds about taking cells from like a living organism and like you know using that as a food source or whatever but like it tastes like human feces. I don't think that is true about lab-grown meat. Because it is monkey brain nonsense mixed with fetishizing natural foods. It really is monkey brain nonsense. I, I agree with that. Thank you for the $5 dono, by the way. Um, it, it's, it, is pure, it is pure nonsense, really. Like... Oh, God. Why'd that automatically start playing? My dad's friend owns one of the first patents on lab-grown uh, meat. He said a lot of artificial meat is made out of beef extract. Yeah, I mean, makes sense to me. How do you know what human feces tastes like? You know, good, good question. There's a lot of propaganda made in order to keep meat as being the massive industry it is. I mean, I'm sure that's part of it, but I, I, I do think the economics of, like, lab-grown meat will eventually wear, w win out. Like, it's just too good of a solution to all the problems. It is expensive to raise animals, to keep them in captivity, to pump them full of, like, uh, you know antibiotics it like it's creating huge medical issues in the united states because we're creating like super diseases that are immune to antibiotics which is bad for everything everyone um like we can we we will have like mass production of meat in a way that basically ensures that everyone can afford meat it will drop prices um, it's way more efficient to just grow the meat that we want to eat rather than an entire animal with like a brain and, and stuff like that. Like it, it's just so much more and like, it's just so much more efficient, so much more efficient. Like th this is from an account on Twitter, right? That has 4.3 million followers, uh, and routinely posts conservative nonsense. Okay. So keep that in mind. Uh, they posted this saying that it should be illegal. A juicy sizzling steak made by computer. While obtaining regular meat is a process that's been taking place for millennia, cow, butcher, beef, redefined meat, a meat alternative startup out of Israel 
makes their product using a highly technical. Also, to be clear, not all lab grown meat initiatives are from Israel. This is just an, I'm, I'm just using this as a demonstration for the technology. Process. The mix of soy and pea protein, chickpeas, beetroot, nutritional yeast, and coconut fat is formed into steak-like shapes using a 3D printer. Our goal is to become the largest meat company in the world just by harnessing technology instead of animals. Meat substitutes are not new, but unlike the soy-based crumbles that mimic ground beef, redefine meat... Okay, wait, 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 wait. How old is this segment that they put up here? Because using technology instead of animals. Just real quick. Me this is not what like the current like impossible meat looks like. This looks like it's like ten years old. Meat substitutes are not new, but unlike the soy-based crumbles that mimic ground beef. Redefined Meats product is designed to act, taste, and cut like flank steak. This is the holy grail of alternative meats. But the most important part, how does it taste? This diner was happy. The texture uh, feels right. Even the smell smells like the real thing. Really authentic for meats. Revolution. Like, I, I don't know. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a while, but like, can, can we just like take a, a quick look here? Yeah, I, like this has to be, this has to be an outdated uh, piece, okay? This is what, this is what it looks like now. Let's see here. Vasya, thank you for the $5 Canadian. Isn't it weird that conservatives are against artificial meat, but pro generative AI? Well, you know, it's being pro theft, I guess. But let's take a look here. I see my my concern here is that this isn't actually real. This th that looks photoshopped. One second. Yeah, here we go. Here's here's an actual example of what lab grown meat looks like. Okay. Wow. Th does it look like a chicken breast? That's because it's a chicken breast. It it's just gr a lab grown chicken breast. Wowee. It just looks like a chicken breast. <laughs> you know, like. I, I don't know. This seems like such a no-brainer to me. A shitty one? Look, it's gonna get better. Looks like a pan-seared uh, chicken tendy. Yeah. But how does it taste? It tastes like a chicken breast! Guys, it, it, I, I, I don't know what I have to say! The pro from libertarian conservatives. And the anti-lab grown meat is from far-right people paranoid about the new world order and Carl Schwab World Economic Forum stuff. I mean, true. It, it's like, oh, you're not even going to be able to meet, eat meat anymore. Tira Lana, thank you very much for becoming a member over on YouTube. Look at us go tonight. Folks, all I'm trying to say here is that it's made out of the same stuff that a chicken breast is. It's effectively the same, except you didn't have to grow the entire ass chicken to make the chicken breast. So, like, it, it's made of the same stuff. It tastes the same. It tastes the same as the stuff that you get off the chicken. It's made out of the same stuff.
Thanks, Tierra Lana. I appreciate that. We're all eating chicken nuggets and shit already, so growing it in a lab is the natural next step. Well, yeah, but also, like, I don't know. We wouldn't have to literally torture animals in order to make food that's tasty, you know? I think that that's a good... We, yeah, we should do that. We, we should move towards a future where we don't have to torture our food first. They need the internal organs for nutrients. But that's the cool other part. That's the cool other part. We all eat food of some consistency. It's the great equalizer. True. Thistles for eyes. Thank you for your membership over the past eight months. But that's the thing, right? Like, we're getting better at growing the meat. And as we invest more money into the technology of lab-grown meat, you know what else we could maybe grow in a lab but more and more effectively and efficiently? Internal organs. Internal organs for, like, you know, cat food, dog food, whatever. You know, for the nutrients that you're talking about. But also, you know, for humans. So that we can have, like, organ transplants that are very effective. You know, like this... The, the, the potentials of this technology, the intersection uh, between all of these different ideas, it's just, it's more economically feasible, it's better for the environment, it's far more ethical, and also, like, it has the potential to unlock, you know, further down the tech tree, growing human organs. Imagine getting a heart transplant and they, give, they put one in you, but also give you one to eat. <laughs> we can eat human organs nope 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 not crossing a line chat i want chicken tenders made from plant products we used to sell those where i work it was delicious yeah uh metal kitty mom the uh the, again the impossible meats are really really good buy one get one free but like imagine Imagine being able to go to the doctor because you have a, a, a fa an organ failure happening and then they can just like make you an organ that matches your exact DNA that there that there's no risk of rejection for. Like, that's what we're talking about. That would be incredible. The organs thing is even better, right? Wait. Some people do eat people meat. Those umbilical cord eaters? Do I really want to ask what the fuck that means? Potential to grow genitalia for bottom surgery. That'd be really cool, though I'm guessing that, that that's further up the tech tree. They're thinking placenta? How is that better? What the hell? What's wrong? What's wrong with everybody? Less umbilical cords, more placentas. Women will eat their own placenta. Is this something that, like, predominantly, like, uh, you know, um, I forget what the term is, but the, those Christian moms that, like, exist to, like, breed as part of, like, their religious beliefs? Is is that is that what they do, or is the or is this, or or is this like the yoga crystal mommy stuff? It's not entirely niche. Been a thing for centuries. That's still gross, though. You know, we we've had a lot of gross things that we've done for centuries for no good reason. You can also fry it in a pan if you have a home birth. No kidding. Oh, that's so fucking gross. That's so gross. Why is it gross? It's just meat. I, I don't know. It's your own meat. It, it's your meat from your own internal body. I, it, it's not unethical. I just think it's really gross. Gross. 
I'm trying to eat thinner. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. Like, sure, you can eat your fingernails. There's nothing unethical about it. It's just kind of gross. Like, I, I don't know. Sneak, Sneeko's over there uh, living his life. Is there anything unethical about him eating his toenails live on a stream? No. Is it incredibly gross? Absolutely. What kind of sauce you eat with your placenta? Jesus Christ. Oh, God. This, this, this conversation had legs. You mean Aiden Ross? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did confuse... Aiden Ross and Sneeko, to be fair, they are both similarly uh, intelligent. You know, I, I do get them confused because they're basically the same person. Animals literally eat their placenta in the wild. Yeah, animals also get rabies and die in the wild. I, I don't know what <laughs> Do dogs will literally eat their own poop. I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not trusting their decision making on what we should eat. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, Alan Smith. That's where I was going. I was gonna be like, oh well, you know, Sneeko eats his toenails, but you know, the 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 ethically dubious thing that he does is, you know, support pedophilia. But uh, to be fair, that probably also applies to Aiden Ross too. I, you know, I just, I, I don't know enough about him. I've seen dogs eat poop, throw it up, then eat it again. Hey, that that's good nutrition right there. Yeah, like it makes sense for an animal to eat it. You know, you you, you get all the nutrients, you get the minerals, you get you you hide the evidence of the birth so you can like be safe. That makes sense. Human beings don't need to do any of that. You you don't need you don't need to use any of that. You could just make you just, you can just fry up some scrambled eggs, and and take a multivitamin. I I, I, don't, I don't know. Potter sauce. 